Well, a rare flesh-eating bacteria infects and kills three people in Connecticut and New York. Officials say the two people who died in Connecticut became infected after swimming in Long Island Sound. Now, in Florida, five people have died in the Tampa Bay area after contracting the bacteria. It lives in a mixture of fresh and salt water. People with open wounds, recent piercings, or new tattoos are more likely to contract it. Joining us now to talk more about this is Dr. Chris Brunel, region at large for the American College of Preventative Medicine. Doctor, thank you so much for being here. Uh, we'll dive right in with a question about uh, more about how people can actually become infected with this flesh eating bacteria. Um, what are the risk factors here? Thank you, Kelly. So the most important thing for people in the public to be aware of is if you have an open wound, or even if you've had a recent piercing or tattoo, you should not expose that skin to what we call warm, brackish, or salty, swampy water. You should remain from, uh, refrain, I should say, from swimming, or ensure that you can cover that area of your skin with a water-resistant bandage. Also, if you have a weakened immune system. You should refrain from eating raw or undercooked shellfish at this time because you could be more susceptible to developing the infection. All right, really interesting. Um, so what are the signs and symptoms of this? So vibriosis, which the infection is named, um, can evidence itself as ulcers, abscesses, wounds on the skin, also accompanying a person may have nausea or vomiting, fever and chills. And in worst cases, when those persons do have weakened immune systems, so if they have HIV, cancer, liver disease, or diabetes, they may develop septicemia. Septicemia or sepsis is a whole body infection in your bloodstream that then begins to cause in organ damage. Wow, and I'm assuming the proper response is to just get to a hospital straight away. Get to medical treatment right away. The earlier you can start on antibiotic therapy, the better you are in displaying uh, whether or not this, those symptoms progress, I should say. So always, if you have any concern for any skin infection and you've recently had undercooked or raw shellfish and or you've been swimming in these waters where we know it is already evident, you should get evaluated. All right, great advice. Thank you for weighing in. Uh, wanted to get your take on one other headline. So a new poll shows Americans put opioids and obesity as the leading threats to public health. Now that's according to the latest Axios Ipsos American Health Index. Here are the numbers. 26% of Americans said opioids and fentanyl are the top public health threat. 23% of Americans said obesity is. So notably, again, these are what Americans feel are public health threats, not not a scientific analysis, uh, but from a medical standpoint, what do you believe are leading threats to public health right now? Excellent question. I want people to understand the four or five top leading causes of death. Those are heart disease, cancer, COVID, and unintentional injuries or accidents. Uh, overdoses would fall under those unintentional injuries or accidents, as would um, deaths related to firearms. So the, the public is definitely understanding where we should be vigilant. But the most important things is that we can ensure that we have a proper response system, that our public health um, systems are strong, that they are vigilant, that we are educating the public, and that we have the appropriate policies to keep even the most vulnerable or historically excluded populations safe and well. That's where health equity, that's where health justice may, must be at the front and center of all public health planning. Oh, and getting the word out is the first step and so important. Uh, Dr. Chris Brunel, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.